Welcome interested viewers to Ask Ben. This is the first installment of my blog where you pop a question at me and I answer it as long as it's not personal. So, the honors of having the first question is done by Kaisi, who is responsible for me having an eyesight camera which enables me to create this blog. So, here's the question. I've always heard that only humans and dolphins have sex for pleasure. Recently, I was told they have found numerous monkeys and other sea life that engage in sexual activity for pleasure alone. Is that true? And how can they tell? So, first, the easy part. Yes, it is true. They have, in fact, found monkeys, apes, as a matter of fact, um, that derive pleasure from having sex. I don't know about the sea life, probably whales because they're closely related to dolphins, um, but we'll come to that later, in my second part probably. So, number one, to the apes. The, the apes are called the bonobos and they are a grassland dwelling kind of chimpanzee and uh, here's how you actually see that they derive pleasure from having sex. Now, the most common use of finding out if someone is deriving pleasure if you can't communicate with them uh, like a human being is to s stick them in a CAT scan and run a scan of the brain. Now that has some yeah it has some limits. For example you won't be able to stick two copulating monkeys in a CAT scan machine. Number one uh, it's not really big enough. Number two I don't think you can really get them to hold still during the process. So that option is out. Option number two. You attach an EKG to the head of a copulating monkey. Also not an option, as long as you don't want to get bitten or otherwise maimed. Also, that might take the pleasure away for the monkey, so you have a sort of um, a Schroeder, a Schrodinger's cat thing where ob observing the problem will change the answer. Next possibility, you open a monkey's skull. Now this is very unethical and I uh, don't promote that. But you can open a monkey's skull, prod a, an electrical contact <laughs> into the area that creates an orgasm or sexual stimulation. And then you test via an EKG the area where um, the pleasure uh, test via the uh, test via an EKG if the monkey is deriving pleasure from that. Now, aside of opening the brain, which is highly unethical, uh, you still have the problem of attaching the EKG to the monkey's head without getting bitten. So, now the most the more common way of finding out if mon monkeys, apes derive pleasure from that. You look at them, right, and uh, look at their social structure especially. See how their hierarchy works, what they do, and uh, researchers have found out that bonobos have a very, um, very, uh, how can I say that, they have a lot of sex. They have sex to say hello, they have sex to uh, redu uh, reduce um, tension within a group. They have a sex to show, uh, yeah, that's my mate, that's not my mate, and the sex to show who's who in the hierarchy. Males and females higher up in the hierarchy will have sex more often than people lower in the hierarchy and so on. And very important, they don't only have sex while the female is ovulating, which would be for 
reproductive, uh, reproductive purposes. Now, you could say, well, they don't know if they're ovulating or not. <clears throat> but with bonobos, you, uh, they can tell because when the female is ovulating, her genitals swell up, and you can see that. And another very important factor in knowing if they derive pleasure from the actual sexual activity is they masturbate. Male bonobos masturbate and female bonobos also masturbate. I have actually witnessed that at a zoo and I think they do it quite often because the it's also it's it's always yeah go there with a group of uh, school kids and um, you'll have a lot to explain or yeah you'll have stuff to explain anyway the same goes for dolphins they ma masturbate male dolphins masturbate I know that um, they'll screw anything they'll screw a pipe opening they'll uh, yeah they'll screw anything that resembles a hole really that's kind of scary but they do okay other sea life um, whales I don't know if they derive pleasure from sex because for whales sex is hard work it's always a threesome because what they have to do is uh, one whale has to swim in the upright position, the other whale has to swim below that, and below that whale has to be another whale pushing that one up. So, it should have been made pleasurable, otherwise I think whales might not do it. I don't know if they masturbate, they'd probably de destroy a lot of stuff if they try to rub against it. I'd never heard of that anyway. So, yeah. Leaves the CAT scan, the EKG, and uh, looking at them socially. The CAT scan, we all agree, can't be done because you don't have a machine that's big enough. The EKG is kind of hard because water also transmits some um, electricity. The opening brain thing is also not a good idea because you have to do it underwater. It's highly unethical and um, yeah, I just don't think it's very possible. Then uh, looking at the social life of whales, that could be helpful. Um, it's a lot of work involved there because you have to implant them with uh, transmitters and you have to stay with them a long time but it might be worthwhile doing some research into that yeah otherwise other sea creatures that could um, that could derive pleasure from sex or sea creatures whose brains are actually evolved high enough to feel sort of something like pleasure would be squids. Squids are, they don't have, wait, wait, they're not mammals, but uh, they're very smart. And um, you can, some squids, they can, um, they have a chameleon effect. They can change the colors according to what surface they lay on. And also, they can communicate with flashing different patterns over their skin. So I heard. Maybe, maybe, those patterns um, also coincide with feelings that a squid has. And maybe the re researchers looked at the patterns that a squid has during intercourse. That, though, is a speculation and not founded research. I want to get less of that in here in the future. But um, I'll look into it, into it further and post more on it when I find out. 
Otherwise, I want to thank Kaisi for the first question. Hope there will be more questions in the future. And wish you all a good day. Bye.